Hi Jenny, nice to meet you. How are you doing today? I'm great, and you? Good, thank you. Um, are you doing a lot of press today? Um, I don't really know. It was a bit surprising that I have now, but <laughs> that's good. Yeah. yeah. So this is the fourth time in a row that you're playing here at Wacken. Yeah. Uh, how were your past experiences? Um, it was really, really great. I'm here uh, since Tuesday and um, yeah, I'm just doing some photos and videos for our fans and um, it's really great every time. Cool, and tomorrow you're playing on the main stage yeah. and um, it's also like the slot that Lacuna Coil played today. How does that feel? That's like great, right? Uh, it feels very, yeah, awesome, incredible. But uh, yeah, every every year it was a bit more. The first year was like uh, nobody knew us. We had no album and nothing, and we were in the tent. And um, there were some I don't know 500 people. Next year, uh, the tent full packed. Then last year, um, the yeah now louder stage. Yeah. Um, full packed <laughs> and this year at main stage and I'm very very excited are you also a little bit nervous yes of course of course <laughs> uh, but I think tomorrow it will be harder <laughs> yeah um, you played last year a couple of covers from Led Zeppelin and Motorhead are yeah. those still in your set list or are there maybe other covers on there um, not not everything that's all what I want to say. <laughs> you can tell me, this is going to go out um, in a month okay, maybe. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, we're playing uh, the Motorhead cover today, uh, it's Saturday again, yes. Cool, it's a very good one. Yeah. Um, you're signed to Universal and Warner, right? <laughs> Your label? Yeah, yeah. How did that happen? Um, woo, yeah! <laughs> It was, um, should we wait or is it okay? I think it should be fine now. Okay. Um, yeah, it was a bit like, um, I was, I, I had a band with 14 and there was one, one person uh, who was with me at that time and uh, our management who's our label now and um, it, he wor I worked with him since I'm 14, so yeah, that's why. Wow, cool. Uh, how has it been working with a, with a major label during this, uh, like, it's the hardest time in the music industry? Um, I think, I don't know the other times, but um, I know it is a bit difficult. Um, but I don't feel like, because we, I do what I want to do, so um, we have a great relationship and we talk about everything and um, I can decide very, very much. We have to check out together, but um, yeah, I think it works very well for, for both of us. Cool. So you're happy with your label? I'm and very happy. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, last year you and your band split and you yeah. had musicians audition for a new lineup. Um, how did that happen? Um, it was a bit sad, but um, it was mm. like we talked a lot about um, the way of Beyond the Black. Uh, when we were at that point um, because we had the chance to go international and then it was like oh what's up um, we have to spend so much time so much in invest work yeah so much work and um, that was the point when we talked a lot about it and decided if we can go further like that or not and um, they said no and um, because they had their own things their own bands and own uh, and, and their personal things and um, you didn't know that when we created Beyond the Black how could it be how much work how much time and um, that was a point we all had to decide and uh, for me it was no question and um, but the others yeah um, but the new guys 
are a bit they know what beyond the black have to invest yeah. and that's the main difference mm -hmm. uh, was there also maybe a little bit of, of um, pressure from your management or your label to I don't know how long does it take for you to find new musicians or did you also have like the time and um, calm I think a bit of both because um, when you decide to uh, cut there is that's not really a good time when you know it will be over there is not really the energy than before so um, it had to be um, yeah quick a bit um, but with the with this um, addition and everything uh, we had a bit time and and it was a bit more um, last year at Bakken there were, were three of them who are this year again and uh, two of them were just uh, coming into the band for these gigs uh, till we had the full band so um, it was a bit time yeah so it was also like a process of yeah, finding the right was, people. Yeah. Cool. But now you have a, um, a cool band and you're studying up and you're one of the um, very, uh, yeah, expected, um, a very hopeful newcomer from the scene. We report a lot about the female fronted metal scene and um, is there any uh, festival maybe that you would like to play with other female musicians as well, for example? Maybe the the Femme Festival. I, I heard a lot about it, and I, I thought that would be a good place for us. Um, but yeah, I don't know. There are so many good festivals. Maybe everything. I want to play everything. <laughs> cool. And maybe a collaboration with another band. Is there something in plans or? Nothing in process now, but we're searching for feature for our next album. So uh, maybe I can tell you more next month. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much. Is there anything else you want to say? I want to say thank you to the listeners um, because, yeah, it's great you're interested, and I hope you like our music. And um, yeah, hope to see you at one of our concerts. Thank you so much.